Common Base Gamer. chill runs up your spine. You feel like you're being watched. You blink and the wilderness changes. A swamp, stinking and insidious, assaults your senses. to go still.
done. Still breathing, despite everything. Should mind my step. Careful, I bite. Oh dear. Someone's left a trap out for us. Never wanted the easy path. Watch your back. Oh dear. Someone's left a trap out for us. Get going. Can't slow down. What's up for discussion? Diminutive creature sporting a red hat glares at you. <laughs> that noise. Is the creature pretending to be a sheep? You seize me! <clears throat> Nosy, scum sucking, lice ridden little ball bag! Get out! Or I bite tongue. Eat tongue. Oh, delicious tongue. <laughs> I bleed you. Touch ya. Make many delicious holes. Yes. Yes. <laughs> This 
swift as my feet can carry me. Make way!
Something good here. I hope. Wonder if the gods are watching me. All's well that ends. Oh, not as bad as it could have. Let's have a look. There are traps about. Can't give up now. What's inside? Breathe deep and move. everywhere. Someone wasn't as fortunate in their choice of campsite as us. Something over there. Here goes nothing.
Hell's fire. She's coming. Well, you've been naughty. And you know what happens when you're naughty. Gods damn it. Anyone but her. Handlers, the word. If it's all the same. My pup here's been unruly. And his leash needs a yank. We had a deal, Will. But Karlak's still breathing. I've taken more pleasant shits than you, Mizora. And at least those can be buried after. That's no kind of talk for a lady. By the way, Karlak. Zariel sends her regards. You told me! Devils only! She's a tiefling, not a monster! How precious. The little pupsters found his bark. Clause G, Section 9. Target shall be limited to the infernal, the demonic, the heartless, and the soulless. Karlak meets the criteria, pet. Trust me on this. Kill me? I wouldn't recommend it. I die, and Will turns to a Lemur and gets sucked right down to the hells. Which reminds me. Will burns in the fires of Avernus. The lightning storms of Dis strike his flesh. His soul passes through each layer of the hells, gaining their essence and their torment. <sighs> That's better. What the hells have you done? The promise broken, the price paid. You know the terms. Get used to the new form, pet. There's no going back. Some magic even I can't undo. Now, let's see how the frontiers fare without their precious blade. Karlak, keep an eye on him, would you? I'll be keeping mine on you. Oh, and Will, don't forget. Our pact still stands. Ta-ta. I'll be honest, soldier. I'm reeling. Will hardly knows me, but he chose my life over his. <sighs> Been a long time since someone stuck their neck out for me like that. Wouldn't be courage without the risk, would it? I'll figure out a way to make it up to him. What are heroes like? Swords? Shields? Shiny things? Seems like a good moment to talk. Gods damn her straight back to the hells. Just look at me. I did what was right, and Mazora made me pay for it. I'd be hunting devils and demons, she said. Traitors and hypocrites, heartless evils of all sorts, but not... Not Zariel's victims. Not innocent tieflings. I'd count my lucky stars for it, but I reckon luck is on holiday. I'm only alive because my patron still has use for me. It's Mazora who grants me the power to conjure armor and cast eldritch blasts. Before I was infected, 
I could even call hell beasts and summon festering clouds. But I promise you, every thrust of my blade and every flame I sparked was for the good of the coast. I can't utter the terms or circumstances of the pact. I can tell you most all else, but the pact, I'm forbidden, unless Mazora permits it. But I'll say this. The moment I pacted myself to Mazora, I have not regretted for a heartbeat. It was my proudest deed. It was worth the sacrifice. All I can give you on that is my solemn word. Spare me a moment, if you please. I've something important to discuss with you. We've been traveling together for a while now, and it's just about time that I shared something with you. It's a rather personal matter that I'd have preferred to keep quiet, but needs must when the devil drives. I have no choice but to speak. You see, I have this condition, very different from the parasite we share, but just as deadly. No, no, nothing like that. Though if I fail to treat it, then the consequences would not be contained to me alone. What it comes down to is this. Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb the weave inside. No, no, it's nothing like that. Magic isn't a narcotic to me. It's quite literally a lifesaver. I would not burden anyone other than myself with this were the stakes not so high and the means of obtaining such artifacts challenging for a humble wizard to face alone. It's been days since I last consumed an artifact, since before we were abducted. It is time, and by that I mean it's imperative that I find and consume strands of weave at the earliest possible juncture. Please. I've better things to do with my time than hoodwink gullible adventurers out of their trinkets. <laughs> I know that what I ask may seem unreasonable, but I promise I only make such a request because it is so incredibly important. Please, trust me. Your help could be the difference between life and death. I understand that I am asking for a lot, but I can't tell you everything. Not yet, anyway. Please, reconsider. I don't know how else I can explain the imperative nature of this issue. You can't simply dismiss it. See, let me remind you that this is not something that can be ignored forever. Artifacts are of little use if you don't live to enjoy them. Tonight, you can't chase the thoughts of that poor girl you killed from your head. You wonder what she looked like as she died. Squirming, skewered in abject agony. You would have given anything to have seen it. As you jolt awake, too many questions plague you.
when the proud deed of her death was yours, why do you have no recollection of it? Me lord, jubilant day! I have found your vile self at last! Scaleritas fell! Your loyal and ever adoring butler. I followed you, my dear rotted master. We have been parted so tragically long. <laughs> I had heard of my lord's indisposition, uh, but I'd hoped the rumors were untrue. No matter. We will get you back to committing five villainous acts before breakfast in no time. I found you following the stench of that bard. <sighs> She reeked across the coast, like a piece of dog muck on the road. My, my, we will be reintroducing necrophilia to your schedule in no time. Anyways, I come once again bearing a part of your dreadful inheritance. You earned this iniquitous prize through your great show of exceptional violence the other night. I'm sure Master will be better soon. A fellow of your fine breeding is never down for long. <laughs> I cannot wait until your next act of shameless barbarity. Though I would love to regale you with your past triumphs, uh, I cannot. I am forbidden to interfere. Our debtors will not allow it. Be true to yourself, my lord. sleep well, flitting between dreams and nightmares. Maybe you wake up because you know something is wrong, or maybe you just get lucky. Shit. No, no, it's not what it looks like, I swear. I, I wasn't going to hurt you, I, I just needed... Well, blood. There, in the dim firelight, you see him for what he really is. A vampire, a slave to sanguine hunger. It's not what you think. I'm not some monster. I feed on animals, boars, deer, kobolds, whatever I can get. I'm... Just too slow right now. 
too weak. If I just had a little blood, I could think clearer, fight better. Please. A strange sensation courses through you, and your companion's mind unfolds, secrets half revealed. I... What's this? What's happening? A shadow swims across your vision, and a familiar voice tells you to be calm. You are loved. His mind opens up, revealing cracked and quivering memories. At their heart, you see dark eyes commanding you to feed. You open your mouth and bite down, not into a tender neck, but into the twisting body of a rat, the only thing your master lets you eat. I... Yes. Yes, I ate whatever disgusting vermin my master picked. So you can see why I'm slow to trust you. But I do trust you. And you can trust me. Thank you. Do you think you could trust me just... A little further. I only need a taste. I swear. Really? I... Of course. Not one drop more. Let's make ourselves comfortable, shall we? like a shard of ice into your neck, a quick, sharp pain that fades to throbbing numbness. Your breath catches, your pulse quickens. finally clear. I feel strong. I feel happy. <sighs> ah, don't be so dramatic. This is just a little transaction between friends. And look what you've gained. Together, we can take on the world. shouldn't take long. So many people need killing. Now, if you'll excuse me, you're invigorating, but I need something more filling. This is a gift, you know. I won't forget it. You watch as he stalks towards the forest, stronger, more confident, ready to hunt. Good morning. How do you feel? It'll pass. Just be glad I'm not a true vampire. A bite from them and you might wake up as a vampire spawn, like my good self. All of a vampire's hunger, but few of their powers. Oh, I've no idea. For 200 years, the sun would have turned me to cinders until the crash when I woke up bathed in its light. 
Someone or something wants me alive. They've changed the rules. Standing in the sun, wading through a river, wandering into homes without an invitation. They're all perfectly mundane activities now. As for my other quirks, well, <laughs> we can figure those out in time. That's my theory, but who knows? I'm just glad you're being sensible about these uh, revelations. I was worried people might turn up with torches and pitchforks. Although there's still time. A vampire? Well, that explains the pallor. Given our group's nature, I don't see much harm. We're each monsters in the making, after all. For his sake, he best not develop an appetite for Githyanki. He's not wrong. We're bound together, no matter what comes. Fine. He stays till he's no longer of use. Besides, my flesh is not so easily tasted. Unless, of course, I have offered it. There now. We're all friends again. Shall we go? There's a long day ahead of us. My face protects me. path lies before me. Feed if you must, Astarian, but give me so much as a hungry look, and I'll drive a stake through your heart. Mm. I do so very like spicy food.
What's hiding here? if the gods are watching me.
first. forward.
Keep your distance, darling. <sighs> Still breathing, despite everything. Anything of use? They should all be running. Keep a blade close. Let's move. Odd. Someone's got a knot in the tree there. Wonder if the guards are watching me. Traps, please. No time to rest. How much further can I go?